Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something that I'm, I have a lot of feelings about, okay? I'm going to be recreating my makeup from high school. So when I was in high school, I used a combination of MAC and like L'Oreal and CoverGirl um, for the most part. Obviously, I don't use any of those brands anymore. If you've been watching me, if this is the first time you're seeing me, I only use cruelty-free and vegan um, cosmetics, so I can't use the same things that I used in high school the way a lot of YouTubers do this challenge. Um, but I will do just like the cruelty-free equivalent of what I used to do. Um, I'll show you a few pictures throughout this video. Um, I started high school 10 years ago, and I graduated 6 years ago, and I literally was a different person every single year in high school. Like, I was super, super scene kid the first and second years. Um, junior year, I was more kind of like hipster scene. And then senior year, I was just like starting to become like who I am now. Um, but I really think I want to do the more like freshman, sophomore makeup, um, kind of how I used to do my makeup each day kind of combined. Uh, I'm wearing like a band tee for the occasion. I got a lot of compliments from other scene kids, okay? Just saying. So the first thing I did all the time was moisturize because I always have very dry skin. So I'm going to moisturize. I'm using the e.l.f. Uh, Daily Hydration Moisturizer, but I used just like whatever my mom gave me at that time. Um, she would give me like skincare stuff, but I bought most of my own makeup. Especially when I started buying MAC stuff. I used MAC foundation a lot. Okay, so when I was 14, they didn't make foundation light enough for me literally anywhere at MAC, like nowhere. Um, so I'm just going to be using the Wet n Wild Coverall in Fair, and I'm going to apply it how I would in high school, which was basically like this is closer to my skin tone than the MAC one was. I don't really have any foundations that were as dark as the lightest MAC foundation was, but I would use my fingers and like one of those triangle sponge applicators. And since I don't have that, I'm just gonna use like a dry beauty blender and swipe it around instead of like patting. Um, so let's just, and primer was not a thing then, like absolutely not. So I'm just gonna start putting this on, but it was definitely like darker than this. The foundation that MAC had. I forget what it was. I think it was NC25 that I used to use and that was the lightest one that they made. Oh my god this feels so fucking wrong. And I never really blended it down my neck. My mom would come up to me and start like wiping it. And I was like mom stop. So I'm just gonna swipe with this sponge because that's what I used to do. Oof. To blend the lines. Okay, so imagine this, but more dark and more yellow. So after that, I would use it like a concealer stick, like just right here and on pimples. I don't have a concealer stick, so I'm just going to use a liquid concealer and put like a, with my fingers here. I'm going to swipe it instead of dot it because that's exactly what I did. Okay, so then after that, I would powder my whole face. I'm just gonna use this Kat Von D one, and of course I'm gonna use a sponge that it comes with, cause, duh. And this is literally what I would do, just take the sponge and just wipe it all over my face. Oh my god, it's so dry and like patchy. Next, I would take literally like the brightest pink blush ever. This is the e.l.f. Pink Passion, and I still really love this blush, but the way I used to apply it, <laughs> I would go like this. Literally just like round circles right here. I didn't have cheek piercings then either, so I didn't get those till like right after I graduated, because that's when I turned 18. So I would have, it would go more like down here, but I can't really put it there. And you guys, I'm doing this exactly how I did it in high school. I'm not going to exaggerate it to make it like funny. I'm literally just going to do it exactly how I did it. So this looks about, about right. And I didn't fill in my eyebrows. I actually tweezed them even thinner than this. But when I did fill them in, I would literally just draw like a line like this.
this was me filling in my eyebrows. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, this is really bringing me back, you guys. Just the highlight, like, on a line under my eyebrow with, like, a white eyeshadow or a white pencil. And now for literally the most insane, ridiculous thing, and I don't know how I even fucking did this, I would do a wing that went down here all the way th around and under like literally everywhere with a fucking pencil how did i do that literally i don't know i know i definitely pulled on my eye a lot which i don't do now but i might have to do it to achieve the amazing look that i had in high school so sophomore year i got my nose pierced and junior year i got my lip pierced and then like toward the end of the junior year i got the other side of my nose and the other side of my lip pierced so i had just like four like this for my like junior and senior year wow this is actually a lot, a lot quicker than doing my gel eyeliner but it doesn't look good okay and then i go in the waterline and then i think i would go like from underneath my lash line like this and like make a wing Yep, that seems pretty accurate. And the inner corner. Oh my god, I hate myself. <laughs> also, I was obsessed with eyelashes, so sometimes I would take the mascara the eyeliner and draw eyelashes on my lower lash line. I only did this when I was feeling like super fancy like I remember I wore this to someone's sweet 16 or like their bat mitzvah or something and the parents were like what the fuck so then I would use mascara I'm using the essence lash mania reloaded but I used to use like a I forget what it was it was some drugstore brand in a green tube I didn't know how to use fake eyelashes and so a lot of times I just wore chapstick on my lips but Again, when I wanted to be like super seen, I would put foundation on my lips. So, that uh, seems pretty accurate. All patchy and disgusting. High school. Sometimes I would even put powder on top to make sure it stayed while I was eating french fries at lunch. <laughs> while people were throwing french fries at me at lunch. And that is how I did my <laughs> makeup in high school. Maybe I should, uh, my hair down with some seam bangs what do you think you guys literally don't understand <laughs> how much i'm dying <laughs> dying inside right now okay so yeah my hair wasn't this color obviously and i don't have my lovely um coontail extensions anymore my super stringy coontail extensions but this is me on myspace let me see if i can what else was like the popular oh this was really popular back then let's see kids i'm an embarrassment to myself and all of you trust me I, I know but I mean this is this is what it was you guys this is what it was like 10 years ago and I was <laughs> I'm sorry it's just so bad but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching me recreate my my uh, high school self and um, consider yourself lucky that I don't look like this anymore people think I'm a freak now I'm like bitch you did not see me when I was 14 hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.